and crochet the Bavarian stitch. For this tutorial, you'll need a crochet hook. Today we are using a hand-turned curly maple crochet hook from Montana Mountain Knitting Needles in the size US8G and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor Webs for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Northampton yarn from their Valley Yarns line in the color Brown Heather. For this stitch you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, half double crochet, treble crochet, front post half double crochet, front post treble crochet, four front post treble crochet cluster, five front post treble crochet cluster, and nine front post treble crochet cluster, which are special abbreviations that we will cover in this tutorial. To begin this stitch, you'll need to create a foundation chain in multiples of 10 plus two. Row one, we're going to begin by doing a half double crochet into the second chain from our hook. Okay, then we're gonna skip the next four chains. One, two, three, four. This will start our repeat. And then we're gonna do nine treble crochets into the next chain. Okay, there's three. There's six. Two, four, six, eight, and nine. All right, now we're going to skip the next four chains and we will do a half double crochet into the next chain. All right, we're gonna repeat this sequence all the way across until the end of the row. Row two. We're going to begin by chaining three. This is after you've turned your work. Then we're going to do a four front post treble crochet cluster over the next four treble crochets. So we've got one, two, three, four here. The cluster is going to work like this. We are going to work a front post treble crochet over each of the next four stitches, so yarn over twice. We're going to come around this column of the stitch here, yarn over and draw through. Then we're going to work to the last loop, okay? So we've got two loops left. We'll stop right there, okay? Then we're going to do that again for all of these four. So that was one. There's two. There's three.
and four. Then we're going to yarn over and draw through all four together at one time. Okay, there will be five loops on your hook. All right, and that will complete our cluster. Okay, then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to do a front post half double crochet over the next treble crochet. That's this one here. We'll yarn over, insert, and go around. Yarn over and draw through. Then we'll yarn over and draw through all three here. So we're just doing our half double crochet over the front post, like so. Okay, then we're going to start our repeat by chaining four. Now we're going to do a nine front post treble crochet cluster over the next four treble crochets, the half double crochet, and the next four treble crochets. All right, so let's get this started. Yarn over twice, come around the front post, and work till there's two loops. Okay, and we'll do that for each of these including that half double crochet in the center. So we'll just leave that last loop unworked. Lots of stitches here. All right, almost there. Two more. We're going to end up with 10 stitches on our hook when we're done. I messed up on that one. Yarn over twice is what we want. Okay, then when we have all 10 stitches on here, we'll yarn over and draw through all of those stitches at once. You might want to take them in sections. All right, then we're going to chain four. And we will do a front post half double crochet over the next treble crochet. So yarn over, draw through, yarn over and draw through all three loops. And we'll repeat this all the way across until the last repeat in our row. Okay, when we finish our last repeat, we will do a chain four. Then we're gonna do a front post, or five front post treble crochet cluster over the next five stitches. So we've got four treble crochets and then our half double crochet at the end. So just like we were doing before, we'll work until we've got two loops and then for each subsequent stitch we'll work until there is an extra loop okay and just keep going and one more And we'll yarn over and draw through all th six of these loops here. And then I'm just going to chain them together to secure them down. All right, for row three, we're going to chain four. All right, then we're going to 
do four treble crochets into the top of the first cluster. So that's where we just did our chain one. Okay, and these we will finish all the way off. So there's two. are going to do a half double crochet into the next half double crochet which is going to be right here okay and then after our half double crochet, we are going to start our repeat. And the repeat will have nine treble crochets into the center of the next cluster. So that's this center right here. Nine treble crochets. So you be doing a lot of trebling. There's one. Out some extra yarn there. All right, that's three. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two more. And nine. All right, so once we finished our nine treble crochets, then we're going to do a half double crochet into the next half double crochet, which is going to be this stitch right here. Okay, and we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across until we reach the last repeat in our row. All right, and when we finish our last repeat, we are going to do a five treble crochet into the top of our last cluster here. So, yarn over twice, come right in the top. turn our work. Row four. We're going to begin by chaining one. 
Then we're going to do a front post half double crochet over the first treble crochet. That's the one right below us actually. So yarn over, come around below, yarn over and draw through, then we'll yarn over and draw through three. Okay. Now we'll start our repeat by chaining four. Okay, then we're going to do nine, a nine front post treble crochet cluster over the next nine stitches. Alright, there's four and five. Four more. And the last one, then we'll yarn over and draw through all of these stitches at once. Okay, then we're going to chain four. And then we'll do a front post half double crochet over the next half double crochet. Or the next treble crochet, sorry. This one right here in the center. All right, and we're gonna repeat that sequence all the way across until the end of the row. Row five, after we've turned our work, we're going to chain one. Then we're gonna do a half double crochet into the first half double crochet. So that's this one right below us. Now we'll start our repeat by doing nine treble crochets into the center of the first cluster stitch. It's this right here. And drop the stitch there. All right, that's three. Six. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more. Nine, okay, then we're going to come over and do a half double crochet into the next half double crochet. And we're gonna repeat this all the way across until the end of the row. So we're gonna repeat rows 
two through five until we've reached our desired length. And that's how you crochet the Bavarian stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more new stitch today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newstitchaday.com slash VIP.